Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching. Fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume. Uh, um. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations on Belfast. This movie was quite phenomenal. Well, that's a uh, delight to hear. You know, it, uh, my, my family on my mother's side is from Lebanon, so there were quite a few parallels between the Lebanese Civil War and, and this sectarian one in Belfast. And Kieran, you being from Belfast, is there almost a certain, not nostalgia would be the right word, but kind of a harmonious experience in reliving this story uh d d there is in a way and also because uh ken uh who wrote and directed it uh was not it doesn't have a political agenda and often when we see stories coming from one side or the other or even trying to take uh some uh, objective view of it we do get some form of agendas where this is a story about humanity about people, about family, about who they are, given the circumstances. But I, I, I certainly take your point about uh, the parallels with Lebanon in the 70s, because uh, uh, the, and also the Israeli Arab uh, thing in the 70s, 60s, 70s was going on, and everybody was making similar parallels about the segregation along those lines. And Jude is now getting a history lesson of, of what went on in uh, Western Asia in comparison to Western Europe. But this is your very first feature film, and it's such a powerful story that, uh, you know, you're, you being so young and taking the lead role and essentially, you know, learning from people that live through this, what is it like for you to experience history, for, you know, even though this is a fictionalized story, but a historical event and dealing with people that actually live through it? Well, I mean, everyone was spreading stories about the time from their own point of view as the time when they were a kid and even though I'm playing Kenneth Branagh he sent a lot of stories as well and Kieran and Jimmy Dornan and yeah I think that sort of put me into the mind of a nine-year-old kid or a ten-year-old kid from that time. You know the what I what I love about the story as Kieran mentioned that you know there's a lot of heart this is a human story this isn't Catholic versus Protestant this is just family trying to survive the hard times and a father doing what's best for his children. Uh, for people that are going to get a chance to see this movie uh, that haven't had the opportunity that I have and my other colleagues have, what would be one takeaway you would like them to experience in watching Belfast? I'd say the message that Belfast should spread to everyone is family is everything and you'll never forget where you came from and that hits deep. Uh, yeah, and about um, <clears throat> resilience, but I think in, inside the, the story as well, you know, Belfast had, had this reputation of just the, you know, things being blown up and uh, fires and sh sh shocking murders and stuff. But when you see the, the way Ken has produced these people who were part of our lives, uh, their, uh, their solidness, you know, their, their connection, their neighborliness to one another, their understanding of that it's not just the family is important, but also the people who are close to the family and how it spreads. And, and that to me, I think it's a great humanist film. I do, really. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Belfast is a tremendous period piece in the 1960s from Focus Features. It's been a great pleasure and I can't wait for everybody to see the film. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Take care, everyone.